So how about making one of the easiest fun full cards ever that is perfect for any occasion and we can use it some of our papers and celebrate some new papers. So I'm gonna show you how cute these are. Oh, I love this. This is your friendship means everything. Look at these, this is all new paper. And then inside sending you a handmade hug. Oh, let's look at this one. This is the nicest apology card. Look, oops a daisy. And here's, you no, know, these are all peaks of new things. Isn't that fun? Oops a daisy, so sorry. Oh, <laughs> taking photos. Your friendship means everything. Um, what a great apology card. And then we have a couple of cute birthday cards. So I hope you're thinking about what papers you have, what accessories. You know, this is just fussy cut out of the paper. You can use papers, punches, anything. It's just an easy, easy card to make. Little, cute little happy birthday. Love this little elephant. So it is Tim Karen Titus from Stamping on the Pack Porch. But of course, before we make cards... We have just a couple quick announcements. This just is just about the end of the month. It is. Monday is May. Oh, yeah, and May is my mystery box month. So it's a lot more information month. coming up on Thursday. And that's why I, I, I do it. So it's the end of the time to get this month's um, card kit. And uh, it's a good time to stock up on, on some of Isn't the supplies. It Mother's Day, too. In May, it's yeah. Mother's Day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's a big month and, Well, it's Holly's wedding. Oh, my goodness. We, we had a lot going on. Oh. And we have paper shares going on. So we have a lot to do before we head to Norway. <laughs> and we're going to Norway. That's the best part. <laughs> so so uh, all the product shares, we do ribbons, embellishments. We have to do all kinds of things. So I'll put a link in the description. So we're taking orders because on Tuesday, I can order supplies and start doing them. And, of course, if you... Don't have the catalog, let, let me know. We have been sending out a bunch, so it's all wonderful. Oh, Barbara, you're so sweet. She says we're a treat to watch, so that's wonderful. Thank we have you. just a handful of cards today, and I told him this might be a shorter day. Uh, you know, I'm not we have, uh, we have such long days <laughs> because it's really an easy fun fold, and we don't have tons of cards, so we're just so glad to have you with us hanging out. This is so fun. And this is, yeah, we, we all, you know, this is. Margaret Bruce from Arizona. Ooh, the pinwheel card. Oh my goodness. There have been so many fabulous cards using this pinwheel over in the backport stampers. I love this. And you guys know, if you're on my my uh, Mine. newsletter list, you get every Tuesday, you get the supplies listed ahead so you can get ready for our, our Thursday show. But I said, this is fun. And I love those colors. Look how pretty that is in the blue. Yes. Just wanted to say, Ooh. you're an inspiration. How sweet is that? And look how she did her inside. This could just about be the outside. Yes, it could. Oh, lovely card. That the inside. That's beautiful. And then we have Kathy Wood. Oh, this is one. Oh, this was From a design Kentucky. we made in Ooh. one of my last classes. Oh, oh, and she's it's a thank you note, but I thought that is so fun. And just see how this stands up. We made this in not the quilt class, but the one before that. And we did all kinds of gatefold cards. Is that stunning? Nice. I just love that. It lays flat like that. It pulls open. Uh, so if you have enjoyed the All Good Cards Club, it's, yeah. it's really fun. We share a whole bunch of PDFs. If Karen, and if Karen can figure out how to put it back together. Yeah, no. The All Good Cards Club is tricky. Because we're gone so much of May. Uh, is the last Tuesday right after we come home, uh, the end of May. So this is a very unusual time. Um, and it's going to be, we're going to be making a dozen cards with insides to match. It's all going to be about ways to finish the insides. Because I've had a bunch of questions about that. So we're going to look at different. And of course, instead of just showing you 12 insides, I, I, we will make 12 cards, but they will ha all have a different idea what to do on the inside so that would be a really fun class it must be in there it must be in here and this is from mary touches oh how sweet oh i love that look at this fun paper uh the book binding fold absolutely love it love how she's got the little paper there and little paper there beautiful i love what are those called again those flowers i don't know they are, i bet some in here will know they are they're beautiful aren't okay. they Tropical. Yes. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, and when I hear it, I'll say, oh, of course. Okay, yeah, and it'll be random in the middle. Isn't that how it goes, you guys? <laughs> He'll just blurt it out. <laughs> but someone will think of it. Diane Rivers from Washington. Oh, look at this pretty layout. Oh, another thank you for sending a birthday card. You know, we send out 
like 250 birthday cards every month. So I hope to keep that up for a long time yet. We'll see. But how pretty is this? This is such an easy layout too. And I just love it. You got paper here and paper there and another one going across there. Just love that design. I love her little accents. I know. That is beautiful. And Bird of Paradise. Bird of Paradise. Oh, look at that. And about 10 people put it on here. See, we can count on you guys. <laughs> oh, that's so fabulous. Um, I think we have an audience that's younger than us, Tim. They have better memories. And you guys... <laughs> know about that you ever heard of roger miller roger miller yeah he wrote a song yeah well the made the bird of paradise fly up your nose may your wife yeah he wrote outrageous. Oh, oh it was an outrageous song okay we don't need that but lovely birds of paradise okay gail clark so how fun that is so oh what a pretty card that's another thank you for the birthday card i sent i love how she has the flowers here and the accent isn't that a pretty border and then the layers there Where that is H? gorgeous I think you're starting a new trend. We have to send thank you cards, <laughs> birthday cards. <laughs> no, I think it's a but, good idea. But you know what? It's so fun. I just love that Beckport Sambers is full of people that send cards. We actually do it. And what a gift that is to people. And then all the people that are put up that are in, in need. And you guys just respond. So I said, I absolutely love that. Linda McEwen from here in Minnesota. And another, oh, that's gorgeous. Love the black and white and touch of gold. Love her accent with the B in the middle. Isn't that stunning? Yes. From the B paper. Oh, that's really gorgeous. Very gorgeous card. Yes. Love the gold. And one more. Uh, and this is for thank you for winning a prize. Barbara Wasco in um, California. And look at this, guys. What a cool idea this is, too. So these are just dies. Now think in terms of punches, dies, anything you want. Do you see how she has yep. four just scattered? And then she's got her words down here. What a cool uh, line there. So perfect. Cool layouts. Okay. So we're ready for easy peasy today. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I just love doing things that are just so simple uh, when our weeks are very, are very busy. Okay. Now I have to find the cards. Okay. Let's start with this one. This, I just love this whole idea. So if you have the supply list, oh, and I forgot to put these out here, uh, but that's okay because you can go to my website and get the Measurements. And get the measurements. So if I forget them on here, um, I'll put them in the show notes. I'll put them in the show notes too. But this is three and a quarter by nine and a half. Because, you know, we really want people to have this ahead of time. So you have your papers done. That's why you want to be on the mailing list to get it. And I'm just covering my bases since I forgot to do it. <laughs> it's just that, so we have these pieces Ooh. that are just going to layer. So I'm just going to talk about a couple of things here first. So once, and you see, I was out of this paper, so we just find another. These are all new papers that has that same color, which is really fun. But you can see how this could be different sizes. I always just want to point that out. This could be smaller. This could be bigger. It is just an idea. This is just cut, um, cut, scored. And, and they just get smaller. As they go and on. they just go smaller. Yeah. And then it's cool because we're using white, you don't need to put a layer on the inside. You can just stamp the inside. So once you have this figured out and folded, then you, you're right, Tim. You're just going to go a quarter inch down yep. and pick two more sizes. Yep. The only other time you would put another piece of paper there is if you made a mistake. Yes. And you wanted to cover it up. So this one is three and a quarter by nine. So that'd be three and a quarter by four and a half. So this is three inches by four and a quarter. And then this is two and three quarters inches by four. Okay, so we have the measurements out of the way. So, but I just love how you can just kind of do that. And then, whoa, and then it's just quick assembly. And of course, we're gonna see all kinds of ideas. I wanna just, different can, yeah. can I just say something once? Mm -hmm. I used to work with once. Are you saying just say something once? Okay. I used to work with um, watercolor. Dis, no displays oh. for 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 our, um, Starbucks. Yeah. No. For for uh, okay. chemical. Two of us can't keep a conversation <laughs> going here. Okay. We're having trouble. I used to go to <laughs> I used to go to trade shows when I worked with adolescent chemical dependency. We worked a lot with where, where the eye goes. Now, the eye here would go over to this side and go that way. And if you turn it around, depending on which way you want it to move. Well, this is going to be the accent. So I'm going to let you decide. Okay. Should the accent be this way or this way? I'm oh, going to let you. You're going to let you figure that out. Great at all. 
Okay. Well, right there. Okay. There you go. And then meanwhile, I'm just going to so put this on. Grab All your right. Eye here, and it'll take you right over to the elephant. Okay. Perfect. Is that a good lesson? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> good. An art lesson from Tim. He never thought he'd give an art lesson <laughs> from the eyes of Tim. Okay. So we're going to put that on. And I think this is just cute. I just fussy cute. cut this adorable stamp set in paper. This is just the paper. There's a stamp set too. And there are dies that cut out some of these, but you guys know I like the fussy Where'd cut. Where'd you put your little? Oh, of course. Where am I? Here they go. So I will let you put this one on. Ooh. And I just think the, the thing, this paper too has all kinds of different things that you cut out and use these. But I think to stack a birthday card like this would be so cute. Okay, so I got to- And just so functional, yep. And then we're only using a quarter sheet for our base I gotta card. Do, I got to do it facing me. Okay. So yes, and I forgot to say that, but the base card is just four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's just a quarter sheet of cardstock because this is the part that opens. Oh, the darling. And I love how we have the black. So we have the color here, but then this is white. So it covers Ooh. the layering, but it really used less cardstock. Yep. And then you could put some bling on and it. And then you can add the, add the bling. So how cute. Oh, and aren't these fun colors? This is from the new, it's a birthday set, Bright and Beautiful or Bright Balloons or something. I don't even know the names, you guys. And this is the new, uh, it, it, they always do a designer series paper patterns, new patterns. I love these stripes. So I said, that since, is so cool. Since I'm encouraged to share my opinions. Yeah. I really like this one better. I like, Perfect. It, 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 it moves. <laughs> okay, Tim's proud it, of that it, card. It Some lucky me. person is going it to get that. Too. Me, yeah. Bright and beautiful, DSP. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. I said, I just... Not that I have okay. any opinions. Yeah, but and not that you like to share them. Okay, I love this card. This is... I just think it's just the cutest apology like I showed before, but I love this. Oops, a daisy. So sorry. Doesn't that just fit with a daisy? Yep. And this is just one of the daisies punched out, and then I just took a sponge dauber, put on that and a little marker. So it kind of looks like the flower there. Huh. So those little holes were already there? Yep, they're already there. And let's see. And then in, in the inside, I just I just think that, you know, oops, a daisy, so sorry. And then to say your friendship means everything. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do that. You know, you, you really are doing that and saying what mm -hmm. what's important, you know, how much I appreciate you. And I just thought, I think those are really fun words. I've sent this card to Karen several times. <laughs> well, Karen will have no comment. So, <laughs> oh, you guys are all commenting on Tim's comments. So that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia says she's partially colorblind. So is Tim. And sometimes small instructions like that help. Oh, I love that. So here we have our I same papers. And I think it's just, you hardly even need to watch this, but I, you know, I'll let Tim put the finishing touches on these. That, that'll be a good thing. I'll, I'll assemble them. All right. Oh, Cause that's what he is totally into today. And I thought, isn't this fun paper? It is so unusual for Daisy paper. Usually, you know, we do the whites and blues and I just think this is just really fun. Okay. So I have the word stamped inside. Okay. And then this is going to be Oopsie Oopsie Daisy. Daisy. So you can put that on where you want. And then I will add some of these. Assuming that I wanted to do it this way. This has this paper. There, then there's a coordinating. There's a stamp set. Dies. Uh, so I'm already trying to think ahead what I'm going to use for my first card kit because there's just so many wonderful choices. And, you know, with card kits, I cannot Ooh. stamp images. But look at how pretty. You can do all kinds of die cutting. And I think that's just lovely. Hey, and then that's going to go. Hmm. All right, next <laughs> is that tag from, yes. The, oh, thank you for asking that, Diane. This tag is in the daisies, in with the daisy punches. I just love this little tag. Okay, next one, we'll do this quick little birthday card with circle greetings. And I've already done that. So we're gonna just put these together. These are more from the bright and beautiful. The, the stripes that Tim did with the elephant and all of these are from the same colors. Oh, I just love getting new paper to work with. Sweet. Oh, yes. Which way would you like that to go? That way. That way. Yeah, the way you had it. 
Yeah, but the way I had it, I wasn't thinking. Oh. I just assembled, so it wasn't a plan. So see, it's a good thing to ask you. <laughs> it does. And you know what? Let's make this one cattywampus, okay? And then you're going to put this one on wherever. Well, it's crooked, so Tim must have done it. <laughs> oh, here they are. See, don't look too hard for what you're missing. I think that's the motto here. <laughs> okay, now you can put that one on. Mm. <laughs> oh, thank you for sharing. That's so wonderful. <laughs> yeah, we can laugh each week. So, Leslie Ann, we're so glad to have you here. It's her first time watching. <laughs> so I love it. Uh, it, it. Isn't this an easy card, but just really a fun, really a fun card. So you'll know if you get something really unusual here with your, because I use these cards to send out. I send out, when I send out card kits, a fourth card is always another card. That's either from a card swap or one that we've made. But aren't those fun? And then the bling will all be added later. Those are favorite for this. Now, who is making one with us here? That says, uh, um, Rebecca says it's going to be her first order from the catalog is going to be with this. So, oops, it is very fun. And I just thought this paper, this is this new blue paper, is country something or other. I know one of you would tell tell me what it is. So, see, we we have all of our all of you guys contribute, which is so wonderful. Country, country chic. <laughs> and there are, I just think this is so cute because look at the little bunnies in here. There's other, there are little foxes and other ones. And I thought this was so cute with your friendship means everything and a bunny facing each direction. So it's like friendship. So that's what I had in mind for that card. And then sending you a handmade hug. It comes from the crafting with you stamp set. And I just think cards that we send, that's what it is. That's what a great inside for any card you make, sending you a handmade hug. So I thought on this one. What was the play that Alana was in? Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. So yes, our granddaughter. There weren't bunny. There was bunnies in there. I don't know. We should, I was thinking about sending her a, a card. Oh, I have another card we need to send her. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, and of course, next week with the new catalog going live on Tuesday, we will have an unboxing on Wednesday. I would do something for a new catalog party next week, but I haven't even thought that far ahead. <laughs> Life's been a little busy here. <laughs> so just stay tuned and we'll figure out what we're doing. So we always do something with giveaways and fun, fun things. So we'll figure that all out. So that will be fun. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to walk through here. We'll do this one a little. Then I'm going to walk through what I did here. You see, I cut out another tree. And then I thought I was going to put it over this tree. Mm -hmm. So does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know, because that might, well, it might look okay, but I just, that was kind of my plan with this mm -hmm. and thought that that just seemed like a really. And then we'll add some things, but I thought, and then we could do another one with a fox. You know, I just love how you can take one set of papers and you can still vary up your cards. And I just think these are just adorable. They, uh, uh, the, the rabbits are, uh, I, I love this. this is the first thing I noticed about this. Do you see they have rabbits going both ways on the paper? So I love it when they do that way so we can do it. And it just looks absolutely adorable. But I think that's really fun to have the two choices. And Tim, I cannot believe um, that we're already done. Well, <laughs> we might be setting a record. So we love to hear which ones are your, which ones are your favorites. And now, of course, it's what, on what, you what guys. Did, what did you, did you put all these back? The, the ones we made or? Yeah, all, well, they're all mixed together. But in the back porch stampers now, you're going to see this card layout used with all kinds of things. Doesn't need to be stamping up. We're all just sharing ideas. The more ideas that we share with each other, the more ideas we get. So I just love it. So um, put together yeah. what you're making. We do a little fun drawing over there. I just love uh, that community and all of you guys. Look at uh, this. My shirt. Oh, there you go. Yeah, stripes. Yeah, there you go. So here we could go with that whole nother design. I, this paper, I you know, last week we did these out of the same paper. I made this one for you, Tim, remember, with the, uh, the music. Mm -hmm. And then you're wonderful. This is all this paper cut out. Look at all these images you can cut out. And then we did this one. So I love this elephant. So here, again, we have another one. So this one was just a little, uses up more paper. I like that. And more pieces. Wonderful, wonderful card. This was last week's. So just make sure you stay tuned. And then this is this week. But do you see how we could take that paper and we could make probably a gazillion cards? <laughs> so. <Here. laughs> 
Karen's extending her time by reviewing last week. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think. I don't see any other questions. So we just appreciate you guys. So I guess it can be just short. So <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us. Let me know if you have any questions, anything next week. You'll see us a bunch of times because of the new catalog. So it will all be good. Actually, I have another, new, another video coming out next week. Not be tomorrow. <laughs> and <laughs> tomorrow on YouTube. So we'll be back be next, sure <laughs> next month in May. <laughs> See you. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. It's going to be not the best weather here. So good time to be inside.